Okay, so I just want to share this potential fix with you. So I've been working with an editor, um, and I've seen this in a couple of spots online, where people have ended up with corrupted uh, timelines. And we're trying to troubleshoot this and trying to figure out why it was happening. Um, and in the end, uh, we managed to see that when we were playing back and zooming in and out of the timeline, as we were working in Final Cut Pro, the timeline would eventually kind of disintegrate to this. And then once it had happened, um, there seemed to be no way to, to immediately kind of get it back. So we tried to restart the computer. We tried dumping the, the render files um, for the projects that we work on, but none of that kind of normal um, fix seemed to work. So what I did was I logged into a, a different user um, in the same Mac um, and the, the uh, timeline seemed to stay intact there. So once that was um, kind of apparent that maybe it was the user's preferences that were, were corrupted in some way or other, um, I had a little dig around and tried to figure out which preferences Final Cut Pro was making um, that were causing the problem. So basically, um, in all these instances, um, and a couple of instances online as well, um, I found that these two files, um, the font menu preview cache and the library cache, um, seem to be the, the kind of culprits here. So by dumping these, deleting these files with Final Cut Pro closed, and then reopening Final Cut Pro, the, the timeline came back. So where you can find these files is if you go to the Finder, okay, and we're gonna jump into the, the Go menu here, so hold down the Alt key, click on Go, and you wanna go to the Library, okay? And it's important that you hold down the Alt there, otherwise the Library um, doesn't show up in this, this list unless you hold down the Alt key. So uh, then it's in the Caches and com.apple.finalcut, okay? And it's the Font Menu Preview Cache and the Library Cache here that I deleted um, that then reset the timeline in Final Cut Pro. This doesn't seem to be a permanent fix. It seems that it can kind of come back. So hopefully um, it will be something that will be fixed in an update. Um, it doesn't seem to be specific to an external hard drive. And um, we tried moving the project from an external drive um, to the internal drive and playing it back from there. Um, we tried it on different computers and it still seemed to, to cause some problems on, on some Macs. It seems to be with the lower end graphics cards. And um, so it may be that the graphics card is simply struggling um, to access enough power um, to zoom in and out of a, a long timeline. So this project was a, a three hour timeline that was starting to cause uh, this kind of problem popping up. So it may be those longer projects where you're zooming in and zooming out of a lot of information. Final Cut Pro is having to, to render thumbnails and the audio waveform um, as you're zooming in and zooming out and it's uh, struggling to do that um, in real time as you're playing back and editing. And so another way of relieving some pressure from your graphics card and from your hard drives um, is to work in a proxy format. So um, here we have a, a clip um, that we can switch to a proxy format. If you have more than one clip in your project, then you can select more by holding down Shift. Um, but here we're just going to right click and transcode the media to a proxy format. Okay, so if we click OK there, that now means that Final Cut's going to transcode it to a proxy format, which will relieve a bit of pressure from your graphics card and hopefully will help it manage that zooming in and zooming out of the timeline um, as you're working on those bigger projects. Okay, uh, once we've done that, we also need to switch up here from the optimized and original format to a proxy format as we begin to make our edits down to the timeline. And you'll see until the proxy footage is ready, um, you'll get that red warning symbol that pops up um, showing you that it's not uh, transcoded to a proxy format. Okay, so here once we have everything in a proxy format, it's playing back through the graphics card um, at a lower bit rate um, than it would be at full quality. So as I said, deleting these two files from your library, caches, and then your com.apple.finalcutpro uh, folder, these two files, um, seems to fix that problem. I'd be interested to hear if anyone else had this problem um, and if they fixed it in different ways um, or what they've kind of done to, to kind of get around this. One way to, to fix it um, as well is to set up a new user account if you don't want to dig around um, looking for these files and then to open up the project in that, but you'd need to have your project on an external drive um, to be able to do that, okay? Um, I hope it's been helpful and hopefully it's uh, saved a few people um, a few uh, few minutes or a few hours of uh, struggling to, to get their Final Cut Pro back up and running, um, and I hope you find it helpful.